In this video, we are going to estimate the limit of the functions using the table of values. So for question number one, estimate the limit of the function x squared minus 5x plus 6 as x approaches the negative 2. So in order to find the values of x, from the left side of negative 2, so what we're going to do is, okay, to show it in using the number line. We all know that negative 2 is here, and then that is negative 3, negative 4, so negative 1, 0, positive 1. So this one. So we're going to get the values of x from the left side of negative 2, meaning from here, and from the right side of negative 2. So all the values of x, or we can choose only values of x nearest to negative 2. So we're going to find first the limit of x squared minus 5x plus 6 as x approaches to negative 2 from the left. So we're going to put negative sign here, okay? That means from the left side. Okay. We're going to construct table of values. Okay. So we're going to choose only values of x from the left. So we start with negative 3. Okay. And then negative 2.5. Negative 2.1. Okay, negative 2.1. Okay, negative 2.01. Okay. So, sa pagkuha ng x, pwedeng uh, kahit ilan lang, o, kahit hindi mo ilagay lahat dyan, ilagay ka ng negative 2.9, 2.8. So, hanggang sa lumapit ka, yung pinakamalapit na doon sa negative 2. And then, after this, we're going to substitute uh, all the values of x na nilagay natin sa ating f of x, which is uh, x squared minus 5x plus 6. So, if we're going to substitute, let's say for example, let's uh, solve uh, negative 3. So, we have f of x equals x squared minus 5x plus 6. So, if x is negative 3, Okay, we're going to substitute all the values of x by negative 3. 5 times negative 3 plus 6. So this is positive 9. Negative 5 times negative 3 is positive 15. Plus 6. So equal to 30. Okay, that is equal to 30. So 9 plus 15 is 24 plus 6 is 30. Okay, x is negative 3 and f of x is 30. If x is negative 2.5, okay, use your calculator, you can solve it first. The answer is 24.75. You can check also uh, using your calculator. And if x is 2.1, f of x is 20.91. Okay, so this is 20.91. And then, if x is negative 2.01, the value of f of x is 20.09. So, as you can see, class, uh, while our x approaches to negative 2, f of x approaches to 20. So, we can write here that the limit of x squared minus 5x plus 6 as x approaches to 2 from the left, the answer is... 20. Next natin kukunin is the limit of x squared minus 5x plus 6 as x approaches to negative 2 from the right. Okay, meaning we're going to uh, get all the values of x from the right side of negative 2. So construct again the table of values. And then after that, so we choose our values of x and uh, we start with negative 1. Okay, negative 1. 
ano yung pinakamalapit pa? Negative 1.5. Negative 1.9 Okay And negative 1.99 So ito, malapit na malapit to dito So negative 1.99 And then, uh, same with here in, Yung pagkuha natin We're going to substitute the values of x Yung negative 1 up to negative 1.99 Sa x squared minus 5x plus 6 So if we're going to if we're going to substitute negative 1 to our x squared minus 5x plus 6, the answer is 12. Okay. And if we're going to substitute negative 1.5, our f of x is 15.75. And then negative 1.9 is 19.11. And negative 1.99 is 19.11. 9101 So as you can see class our, our x our x approaches to negative 2 from the right so our f of x approaches to 20 okay same with the values here so we can say that the limit of x squared minus 5x plus 6 as x approaches to negative 2 from the right is equal to 20. So as you can see class, uh, our one-sided limits, they are equal. So we can write here. So the limit of x squared minus 5x plus 6 as x approaches to negative 2 from the left is equal to the limit of x squared minus 5x plus 6 as x approaches to negative 2 from the right so they are equal so if our one-sided limits are equal so meaning we can say that the limit now of x squared minus 5x plus 6 as x approaches to negative 2 this is our given no? is equal to 20. Okay, this will be now the our answer.